Hi, I'm Tommy from Loophold, and today I'm going to show you how to install the new Speedset custom dial on the new VX6 HD Gen 2. Before installing your new custom dial, there are a few things that you need to understand. One, the dial that came with your scope was pre-tensioned at the factory to ensure proper engagement with the underlying adjustment post. This ensures that the dial is fully unlocked when the lever is opened, but also fully locked when the lever is closed. Two, Due to small variations in the adjustment post dimensions in the VX line of rifle scopes, you may need to set the tension of your new custom dial to ensure proper engagement. This is easy and will require using a small flathead screwdriver. Once the tension adjustment is made on the custom dial, it will not need to be adjusted again. To remove the existing dial, the one that your scope came with, press the lever release button and rotate the speed set lever to the fully unlocked position. In other words, rotate it until it stops. Now, the dial can be lifted from the underlying adjustment post and removed from the scope. Next, with the lever of your custom dial in the fully unlocked position, align the dial to the index mark on the scope's main tube. Now, you want to firmly seat the dial onto the underlying adjustment post. Ensure that the speed set lever is in the up and fully unlocked position, allowing access to the tension screw. Using a flathead screwdriver, turn the tension screw clockwise until it binds on the adjustment post. Turn the tension screw counterclockwise one click at a time until the dial can slip off the adjustment post. Now try to close and lock the speed set lever. If the lever does not close, the tension screw needs to be loosened, just to the point where the lever can be closed all the way. When properly tensioned, the speed set dial will spin freely when the lever is unlocked, and will clamp down firmly on the adjustment post when the lever is locked. And that's how you install the new speed set custom dial system. To use it, simply lift the lever, make your adjustment, and lower the lever. That's all the action that's required. If you'd like to learn more on how to use it, click the link in the description below.